So when it is 10 o'clock at night and you're awake and don't got nothing else to do and you're playing video games and the power goes out, what do you do? We're gonna take some tires off of some wheels. <sighs> See? So completely off the beat. So what you're doing, basically you're sticking your flathead in through here and then you're peeling this off the bead right here. So this is where the bead is, you see? So you're peeling off that's inside, which is a little bit difficult. And you just go in here, you wanna hit that, then hit the bead, and then you're peeling it off with leverage. You wanna do that the whole way. So first things first, what you're wanting to do is with some type of small screwdriver of some sort or something, you want to get all of the air out until it is not super, until it's not pushing quite a lot of air out. Because when you're taking the tire off, you don't really want it to blow up on you, of course. So it is much better just to get as much air out as you can before taking it off at all. So yeah. So now that all the air is out, what you're wanting, some WD-40, probably the nozzle would be the best. And you're wanting to go around just like this. You wanna get all the corners because, oh, because then it, oh, come on. Yeah, the dark is not fun, I cannot see anything. Well, okay, let's go back to it. So, you want to get all of this because then that will loosen up the inside so you can then get it off much easier. So see, all the way around. Now let that get in. Now what you're wanting is a screwdriver just like this. It's nice and strong flat head. And what you want to do, you want to get in, like just like this. All right, you're gonna try and push in as much as you can, and then try and get it to come off. I'll explain it in a second. So what you wanted to do, you wanted to get a screwdriver in like this, push in as far as you can, and then push in and then pull towards you while pushing at the same time and you'll feel it kind of move a bit and then it'll get much easier putting it in, see? I don't gotta, I only use one arm to put it in, right? You push it in and then get off the bead because the bead is right in there. Go over here, there you go, you see, you hear that? That's actually good because it's coming off the bead right now. And then you rotate it a bit once again. Not easy. Definitely not easy, but it does save you a lot of money by getting it off yourself. <laughs> Whew, that was good. Yeah, that's off the bead. That's off the bead. Cause yeah, look at that. I can find my whole thumb in it now. It's completely off the bead. Rotate that over here. This off the bead, off that, off that, just a bit more. There you go. Now, look at that. See, so now this is off. You can see that properly. See, so completely off the bead. So, what you're doing basically, you're sticking your flathead in through here and then you're peeling this off the bead right here. So this is where the bead is, you see? So you're peeling off that inside, which is a little bit difficult. And you just go in here, you wanna hit that, then hit the bead, and then you're peeling it off with leverage. You wanna do that the whole way. We wanna do, stick this one in here, and flip that over, and also do this one at the same time. So you then get this, see? There you go. Don't worry, we're repairing these rims later. We're gonna show how to repair them fully. So now that this is over like that, 
You're wanting to get the rest of this off. So of course that's not easy. You get in here with the screwdriver and you keep flipping it over, you see? Just like that. And now this is almost fully off. There you go. Oh, just a bit. There you go. So now this is fully over the whole way around. Now we're through the other side. We're gonna flip it. So that's gonna be fun. So once again, we're gonna use our trusty friend WD-40. Go around. So now that we got the WD-40, hold it around. We're gonna do the same thing again. Push in, find that bead, and then pull it off. There you go. So, this just is out now, you see? Or you can't see it now. You see that? So what you wanna do now, you wanna go make sure it's upside down. And you're gonna try your best to pull this through. Okay, so try and get a diagonal. And then this piece comes up pretty much like that. Oh, there you go. See, slips right out. <laughs> so, basically, you want to try and get it at the diagonal, best diagonal you can, and then whichever side is down, of course, that side's up, and you just want to slip it right out. A lot of WD-40 really helps. Trust me on that. So now the wheel is completely dirty. So what you want to do is just get a cloth, and then you want to get all the WD-40 off, of course. So yeah. That's basically how you get a wheel or rim, I don't really care what you guys say, off of, off of a tire. Some nice RPF ones. So yeah, getting all ready for the track.